In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred Eucharist by asking the Lord's forgiveness for our mistakes, shortcomings, offenses, and sinfulness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who gave St. Anthony of Padua to your people as an outstanding preacher and an intercessor in their need, grant that with his assistance as we follow the teachings of the Christian life, we may know your help in every trial. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, to this day, whenever Moses is read, a veil lies over the hearts of the children of Israel. But whenever a person turns to the Lord, the veil is removed. Now, the Lord is the Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. All of us, gazing with unveiled face on the glory of the Lord, are being transformed into the same image from glory to glory, as from the Lord, who is the Spirit. Therefore, since we have this ministry through the mercy shown us, we are not discouraged. And even though our gospel is veiled, it is veiled for those who are perishing, in whose case the God of this age has blinded the minds of the unbelievers so that they may not see the light of the gospel of the glory of Christ, who is the image of God. For we do not preach ourselves, but Jesus Christ as Lord, and ourselves as your slaves for the sake of Jesus. For God who said, let light shine out of darkness, has shown in our hearts to bring to light the knowledge of the glory of God on the face of Jesus Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The glory of the Lord will dwell in our land. The glory of the Lord will dwell in our land. I will hear what God proclaims. The Lord, for he proclaims peace to his people. Near indeed is his salvation to those who fear him. Glory dwelling in our land. 
the glory of our Lord will dwell in our land. Kindness and truth shall meet. Justice and peace shall kiss. Truth shall spring out of the earth. And justice shall look down from heaven. The glory of the Lord will dwell in our land. The Lord himself will give his benefits. Our land shall yield its increase. Justice shall walk before him and salvation along the way of his steps. The glory of the Lord will dwell in our land. Let us honor the Holy Gospel. with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you, unless your righteousness surpasses that of the scribes and Pharisees, you will not enter into the kingdom of heaven. You have heard that it was said to your ancestors, you shall not kill and whoever kills will be liable to judgment. But I say to you, whoever is angry with his brother will be liable to judgment, and whoever says to his brother, Raka, will be answerable to the Sanhedrin, and whoever says, you fool, will be liable to fiery Gehenna. Therefore, if you bring your gift to the altar and there recall that your brother has anything against you, leave your gift there at the altar. Go first and be reconciled with your brother and then come and offer your gift. Settle with, the oppo with your opponent quickly while on the way to court with him. Otherwise, your opponent will hand you over to the judge and the judge will hand you over to the guard and you will be thrown into prison. Amen, I say to you, you will not be released until you have paid the last penny. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, everybody. Palakpakan natin, pasalamatan ng Panginoon. Lalo na sa araw na ito na kapistahan ni San Antonio de Padua, Saint Anthony of Padua. Ay, kung hindi pa niyo kilala siya, kilalanin ninyo siya at napakahusay na santo at kaibigan niyan. Uh, summarize ko lang kanyang buhay. Siya ay pumasok sa religious life. Napaka-humble. Mababa ang kalooban. Always at the service of others. And he became an outstanding preacher. Mga ngaral, uh, tagibigay ng homily, napakagaling. Sapagkat ang kanyang buhay ay ika nga ang pundasyon ng kanyang buhay ay ang Panginoon. Sa karamihan, kilala lang si Saint Anthony of Padua as the patron of lost items. Kaya ire-recommend ko siya sa inyo. Pag kayo nawala, hindi nyo makita ang inyong susi, hindi nyo makita ang inyong salamin. Kung minsan may naghahanap ng salamin, hindi ko ikaw makita ang salamin ko. Ay, nakaganito naman, nandito naman. Ay, si Saint Anthony ay napakagaling, 
na puntahan pag nawawalang, meron kang nawawalang pa. Uh, ayawan ko lang kung pati nawawalang asawa ay pwede niyang hanapin. Pero uh, so who knows? Why not? Why not? Oo. So, uh, si St. Anthony ay napakagandang lapitan pag may nawawalang objects at garantisado ang kanyang tulong sa inyo. Kaya sa atin, ako mismo ay marami ako mga pagkakataon na hindi ko makita yung ganon, hindi ko makita yung ganon, nawawala yung ganon. Sabi ko lamang, St. Anthony of Padua, kawaan naman, tulungan naman ako maghanap nito. Oo, yun. So, tumutulong siya. Amen? St. Anthony of Padua, pray for us. Ay, malakas naman. St. Anthony of Padua, pray for us. Alright. So, ngayon naman sa Ebanghelyo, may mga bagay na ika nga ay mahirap pag-usapan sa buhay. Lalo na yung mga kagalit, yung mga relationship na hindi na mahusay dahil kagalit. Oo, marami tayong kagalit. May kagalit ang magulang, kagalit ang kapatid, kagalit ang hipag, kagalit ang pinsan, kagalit ang dating kaibigan. At dahil dyan, hindi na nag-uusap, nag-iiwasan na, nagtatampuhan na, oo, and so on and so forth. So, anong resulta nito? Hmm. Maasim lagi ang sigmura pag naaalala, hindi makatulog ng husay pag naaalala ang kagalit, pag kumakain, nawawalan ng gana, ay sinong lugi? Sinong nakakasakit? Sinong nawawalan ng peace of mind? Yun. Kaya ang sabi ng Panginoon, makipagkasundo na. Makipagkasundo. Be reconciled. Alam ko marami sa sabi, ay naku, Father, ang galing mo magsalita, ikaw kaya ang lumagay sa sitwasyon ko. Ikaw kaya ang gawa ng ganon. Ikaw kaya ang pagsabihan ng ganon. Ikaw kaya. Oh. Yes, inaamin ko. Kaya nga sinabi ko nga mahirap eh. Pero lalo tayong mahihirapan kung patuloy na hindi natin inaayos ang ating relationships. Gaya na sinabi ko, psychologically, oh, mentally, madidisturb ka na niyan. Emotionally, mahahay blood ka niyan. Ang palpitation mo, oo, magpapadoktor ka pa, ay pwede naman palang hindi mag-maintenance kung magpapatawad ka lamang. Ay dahil sa hindi ka nagpapatawad, taas ng taas ang blood pressure mo. Bili ka ng bili ng maintenance. Ang sagot ba na, eh may 20% discount naman ako eh. Aba, eh pwede ba yun? So, ang, ang sa akin ay ang sa Panginoon. Kung susundin natin ang Panginoon, ay makakaiwas tayo sa sakit, makakaiwas tayo sa mga, ano yung mga uh, acidic at kung ano-ano pa, but that is only in the physical. Makakaiwas din tayo sa mga emotionally induced illnesses katulad ng hindi makatulog, hindi makakain, dahil lamang sa kagalit. Kagalit. Ang sabi ng Panginoon ay makipagkasundo na para magkaroon ng kapayapaan. Oo. Ay siya kaya ang may dahilan nito eh. Bakit ako ba? Oo ay, isurrender mo na yung pride mo. Kasi yung pride mo ang makapagpapatagal ng kondisyon mo na maaaring mag-uwi sa mas malalang karamdaman. Oo, pero kung mayamang ka at gusto mong payamanin ang mga may-ari ng mga parmasyotika, gusto mong payamanin ang mga doktor, ay ikaw, ay pera mo yan eh. Pera mo yan. So, bahala ka. Oo, bahala ka. Kung ang gusto mong gastusan ay ang iyong karamdaman na pwede naman palang wala Nasa sa iyo yan. Pera mo yan. Pero napakaraming mas magandang paggastusan ng pera. Edukasyon ng mga bata. O pagtulong sa kapwa. Pero nauubos lamang sa gamot, 
kasi ayaw mong solusyonan ang iyong mga kagalit. Kagalit. Yan. So, ang wika ng Panginoon, magpatawad na. Makipagkasundo na. Ang hirap kaya niya, Father. Ayaw, ayaw, ayaw. Ay, mahirap na. Pero, mamili ka. Mamili ka ang iyong kalusugan o pagpapatawad. Utak lang ang gamitin mo at alam kong sasang-ayong ka sa Panginoon. Amen. All stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May the sacrifice which we gladly present on the feast day of St. Anthony of Padua be pleasing to you, O God, for taught by Him. We too give ourselves entirely to you in praise through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father. Almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For on the feast day of St. Anthony of Padua, you bid your church rejoice. So too, you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with a company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Everybody. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the Indeed, holy, O Lord, the Father.
fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. The ye destroy a death, rising you restore the life. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, come in glory. For us, we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Luis Antonio, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servants, Cecilio and Anita, and all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, the souls in purgatory, the souls we remember and pray for in this holy mass. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Eutadeus, Saints Arnold and Joseph, and SVD Martyrs, Saint Anthony of Padua, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Our Father, we pray that God will forgive us our sins, just as we forgive those who sin against us. So as we sing the Amanamin, let us remember ang ating mga kagalit at by the grace and mercy of God, patawarin na sila para makamove on na tayo sa ating buhay praising and loving the Lord and others as well. Together. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come
forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us Ooh. and lead us not into temptation but deliver us the Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all worry and distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. O ganito muna, tahimik muna tayo, close your eyes, at magpadala tayo ng message of peace and forgiveness and reconciliation sa ating mga kagalit. And now, let us share with one another a sign of God's love, joy, and peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, happy are those invited to his banquet. Lord, Lord I, I am, am not worthy, worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word, word and, and my soul come. shall be healed. The communion shall be done row by row. Please be reminded that we should accord due reverence to the presence of Jesus Christ while the celebration of the Holy Eucharist is ongoing. Therefore, personal devotions and touching of images of the Blessed Virgin Mary and St. Jude Thaddeus and also the other images shall be proper only when the Holy Mass is finished. Thank you for your kind cooperation.
Announcement: The Apostle Seat of Prayer or AP cordially invites you to please join the solemn novena in honor of the most sacred heart of Jesus from June 19 at 5.45 p.m. Wednesday, June 20, 4.45 p.m. June 21, 5.45, June 22, 5.45, June 23, 4.45, June 24 to June 26, 5.45 and June 27 at 4.45 p.m. On June 28, the solemnity of the most sacred heart of Jesus, High Mass will be at 6 p.m. We shall therefore be greatly honored and specially blessed by your presence. We thank you and pray for, the, for more blessings for you and your family. Outside the church, there are livelihood products of the Alternative Learning System of the Divine Word Seminary in Tagaytay. Each time you buy their products, you can help an out-of-school youth to achieve his dream. Thank you very much and God bless us all. Please all stand.
Let us pray. O God, who gave us Saint Anthony of Padua to be our model and example of humble service to others, grant that we may always, with faith in your divine mercy, find in him a friend in need through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us pray the prayer of Saint Jethro. Eternal Father, we offer you the, you most, the most precious body and blood, blood of your, your divine, divine Son, Jesus, Jesus in, in union with the masses offered throughout the world today for all the holy souls in purgatory, for, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in our homes and within our families. In Jesus' name, amen. Before the blessing, in the name of everybody, and especially myself, na laging tinutulungan ni St. Anthony of Padua, lalo na sa paghahanap ng mga nawawalang bagay, ay St. Anthony, marami pong salamat sa inyong tulong at patuloy na pagtulong sa amin. Kaya nagpapasalamat kami sa Panginoon Diyos, pinagkalog ka niya sa amin bilang aming patron ng uh, mga nawawalang bagay. Thank you very much, St. Anthony. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Please kneel for our novena. O salutari sostia, Que celipan di sostiu, Bella premut hostilia, Sempiter na gloria, kibitam si ne termino, no bis done timpat ria. Please turn to page 15. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of thy faithful and kindle in them the fire of thy love. Send forth thy spirit and they shall be created. Let us pray. O God, who did teach the hearts of thy faithful people by sending them the light of the Holy Spirit. Grant us by the same Spirit to have a right judgment in all things, and evermore to rejoice in His holy comfort through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please turn to page 23. But these men deride whatever they do not know, and the things they know, by, inst by instinct like the dumb beasts, come for them a source of destruction. The Epistle of St. Jude, verse 10. O Lord Jesus, let me know myself, let me know thee, and desire nothing but thee alone. Let me hate myself and love thee, and do all things for the sake of thee. Let me humble myself and exalt thee, and think of nothing but thee alone. Let me die to myself and live in thee, and take whatever happens as coming from thee. Let me forsake myself and walk after thee, and ever desire to follow thee. Let me flee from myself and turn to thee, that thus I may merit to be defended by thee. Let me fear for myself 
let me fear thee and be among those who are chosen by thee. Trust myself and trust in thee and ever obey for the love of thee. Let me cleave to nothing but only to thee and ever be poor for the sake of thee. Look upon me that I may love thee. Call me that I may see thee and forever possess thee. Amen. O most holy Virgin Mary, who didst bear Jesus our Savior and didst shed the everlasting light upon the world. O Mother of Divine Knowledge, whose merciful intercession hath procured the grace of increasing in knowledge and piety for countless minds, that we were rude and ignorant, I choose thee as the guide and patroness of my studies. By thine intercession, O Mother of fruitful studies, may the Holy Spirit fill my spirit with light and fortitude, prudence and humility. May he give me goodwill, intelligence, memory, and ability in sufficient measure, and above all, a spirit of docility, both in mind and heart, that I may proceed in all things according to the counsels of divine wisdom. Defend me, good mother, against the spirit of pride and presumption, of vain curiosity and stability. Keep me from every occasion of stumbling, from all erroneous opinion, from all things that might corrupt my faith and disturb the clearness of my understanding, the purity of my heart, and the peace of my soul. Grant, O Mary, that under thy protection I may ever be submissive to the directions and teachings of Holy Church, my mother, and may advance in the way of truth and virtue, surely, courageously, and without wavering. At length may attain to the knowledge and love and the everlasting possession of Jesus Christ, thy Son, Amen. Please turn to page 37. Novena Prayers. O glorious Apostle St. Saint Saint Jude today, to relative, relative of Jesus and Mary, I salute thee to the most sacred heart of Jesus. Through this heart, I praise and thank God for all the grace bestowed upon thee. Humbly prostrate before thee, I implore thee to this heart to look down upon me with compassion. or oh, despise not my poor prayers. Let not my trust be confounded. To thee, God has granted the privilege of aiding mankind in the most desperate cases. O oh, come to my aid, that I, I may, may praise, praise the, mercies the mercies of God. Of God. All, All my, my life, life I will be grateful to thee and will be thy faithful client until I can thank thee in heaven. Amen. Blessed Apostle, with confidence we invoke thee. Blessed Apostle, with confidence we invoke thee. Saint Jude, help of the hopeless, aid us in our distress. Saint Jude, help of the hopeless, aid us in our distress. Pray for us that before death we may expiate all our sins by, by sincere, sincere repentance, repentance and the worthy reception, reception of the of Holy, Holy Sacrament. Sacrament. Pray, Pray for, for us that, that we may appease, appease the, the divine, divine justice and obtain a favorable judgment. Pray for us that we may be admitted into the company of the blessed to rejoice in the presence of our God forever. Most holy apostle, Saint Jude the Deus, faithful servant and friend of Jesus, the name of the traitor who delivered thy beloved master into the hands of his enemies has caused thee to be forgotten by many but the church honors and invokes thee universally as the patron of hopeless cases and of things despaired of. Pray for me who am so miserable. Make use, I implore thee, of that particular privilege accorded to thee to bring visible and speedy help, where help is almost despaired of. Come to my assistance in this great need that I may receive the consolations and succor of heaven in all my necessities, tribulations, and sufferings particularly.
and that I may bless God with thee and all the elect forever. I promise thee, O blessed Jude, to be ever mindful of this great favor, and I will never cease to honor thee as my special and powerful patron, and to do all in my power to encourage devotion to thee. Amen. St. Jude, today you pray for us. And for all who invoke thy name. Let us pray. O, o St. Saint Saint Jude, today you, thou relative, relative of, of Jesus Christ, Christ thou, thou glorious apostle and martyr, <clears throat> renowned for thy virtues and miracles, faithful and prime intercessor of all who honor thee and trust in thee, thou art a powerful patron and helper in grievous afflictions. I come to thee and treat thee from the depths of my heart. Come to my aid with thy powerful intercession, for thou hast received from God the privilege to assist with thy manifest help. Those who almost despair of all hope, look down upon me. My life is a life of crosses. My days are days of tribulation, and my heart is an ocean of bitterness. All my path are thrown with thorns, and scarcely one moment passes, but are witnesses of my tears and sighs, uneasiness, discouragement, mistrust, and almost despair prey upon my soul. Thou cannot forsake me in this sad plight. I will not depart from thee until thou hast heard me. O hasten to my aid. I will be grateful to thee all my life. I will honor thee as my special patron. I will thank God for the grace he bestowed upon thee and will encourage devotion to thee according to my power. Amen. St. Jude, today you pray for us. And for all who invoke thy aid. O oh my God, I firmly, I firmly believe, believe that, that thou art really and corporally present in the blessed sacrament of the altar. I adore thee here present from the very depths of my heart, and I worship thy sacred presence with all possible humility. O oh my soul, what joy to have Jesus Christ always with us, and to be able to speak to him heart to heart. With all confidence, grant, O oh Lord, that, that I, having adored the divine majesty here on earth in this wonderful sacrament, may be able to adore you eternally in heaven. Amen. Amen. We pray for the intentions of the church and the Holy Father for the priests. That priests, through the modesty and humility of their lives, Commit themselves actively to the solidarity with those who are the most poor. We also pray for the following intentions. For God's blessings on the National Shrine of St. Jude Tadeus and St. Jude Catholic School. For more vocations to the priestly and religious life. And for board and bar examinees, those who are taking academic and other examinations, and all devotees whose petitions we now lift up to our Heavenly Father, may the Lord graciously bless them in every way, keep them in His abiding love, and increase their faith in answer to their prayers. Together with our personal intentions, through the constant intercession of our beloved patron, St. Jude Tadeus, we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and shall be the world without end. Amen. 
Tanto mergo sacramentum venere morcernui et antiquum documentum no voce da tritui prestet fides suplimentum sensum defect to we genitori genitoque thou set you be the tio salus honor virtus coque si det benedictio procidenti ad otro Comparsit lauda tio. Amen. Amen. You have given them bread from heaven, containing in itself all the life. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Let us pray. O God, who in this wonderful sacrament left us a memorial of your passion, grant we implore you that we may so venerate the sacred mysteries of your body and blood as always to be conscious of the fruit of your redemption, you who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Blessed be God. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, through God and through men. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete. Blessed be the great Mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, virgin and mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all Thanks giving be every moment thine, be every moment thine. Holy God, we praise thy name, Lord of all, we bow before thee. Please turn to page 43, 
blessing for the sick. Grant, Almighty and Eternal God, everlasting health to those who believe. Hear us for thy sick, for whom we implore the aid of thy tender mercy, that being restored to bodily health, they may give thanks to thee in thy church. Through Christ our Lord, amen. They shall lay their hands upon the sick, and they shall recover. May Jesus, the Son of Mary, the Lord and Redeemer of the world, through the merits and intercession of his holy apostle Jude the Deus, and all his saints, show them favor and mercy. Amen. We include especially yung actor, si Eddie Garcia, in our prayer for the sick and for all our sick loved ones. Okay. Blessing of religious articles. Lord, show us your mercy and love. And grant us your salvation. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Dearly beloved brothers and sisters, let us pray to God Almighty Father that we may be transformed into the image of Christ through the devout use of our signs as aids to our prayer. May the Lord in his love and mercy cherish and reinforce with his blessing these tokens of our devotion and piety so that we may take up the course of the present life without offending anybody and we may attain eternal life with joy through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Saint Jude Tadeus. Pray for us. Saint Anthony of Padua. Pray, pray for, for us. us. Ang blessing po ay sa labas ng simbahan. Marami